मैडम गुड आफ्टरनून सर नमस्ते गुड आफ्टरनून सर There are still many students who have not come uh, come online. Yes, my only thirty four have joined so far. We'll wait for them, sir. Yes. Yes. Can we uh, wait for another two minutes because it is yes, uh, three minutes past yes. four? Sure, sir. So, start at uh, you know five minutes past four. We will start. Yes, sir. Today is the first day. Yes. Yes. Very good afternoon to all of you. Good afternoon, good sir. Afternoon. Good, afternoon, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So. Good afternoon, sir. This is Dr. S. K. Tripathi, Regional Director of IGNO Regional Center, Bhubaneswar. And uh, many of you must be knowing because in the workshop, you know, I have visited uh, twice, of course. In the first workshop and in the last workshop I was there, but uh, in the second and third workshop I could not make it because of preoccupation. As promised, uh, we have come in front of you uh, for this online uh, counseling classes. As you know, there are three theory papers and one practice uh, and one workshop. For these three theory papers, we'll be having uh, you know online academic counseling. So today is the first day, and uh, uh, to discuss uh, about BS zero six one, that is understanding and managing adolescence issues, we have invited our senior academic counselor, Dr. Nivedita Das, who is very much present with us. She will be speaking to you, or uh, you know, on uh, various issues pertaining to this particular block. There are uh, sorry, uh, this particular uh, course. There are three blocks. Block one contains development during adolescence. Block two has presentations on issues and problems in adolescence. Uh, uh, is uh, dealing with managing adolescence challenges. So these three blocks will be covered in uh, four classes. So I would call you to kindly mute your microphone. Please mute your microphone. All are requested to kindly mute your microphone. Okay, thank you. So these three blocks will be covered in four classes, and uh, as uh, advised to you in the introductory session uh, in the workshop, uh, please, uh, you know, come to counseling class with certain points so that the discussion would take place on those points. It is not practically possible to. Proceed line by line, word by word, sentence by sentence, because a lot of uh, you know contents are there in this particular course. So it is better, please read the study material and come with certain points and raise those points in front of the academic counselor, Dr. Nivedita Das, so that she'll be able to uh, you know clarify on those points or whatever hard spots that you find in the blocks of the units. Those things will only be discussed. Uh, you know, moreover. Uh, the main issues which can uh, uh, you know which, which are supposed to be explained will be explained by dr nivedita das and uh, i would request all of you to kindly cooperate because it is open platform and everybody, uh, and everybody is free to contribute 
it is not that only the academic counselor or myself or any one of yourself will contribute so all of all of you must uh, contribute if there is something extra uh, which is supposed to be shared with your friends so please do that and kindly uh, you know cooperate our counselor we are here to support you and we want that you should complete your cpdt program successfully so thank you very much madam you are welcome and please take over thank you sir thank you good afternoon everyone we will start with ba61 block 1 today so this is all about adolescent issues and the problems and how to find a solution it's all about focusing on the adolescent behavior behavioral issues basically you have been experiencing all that as teachers interacting directly with them now will get into the theory and the why aspect of it right we are trying to understand them in a better way so that we can deal with them in a better way so uh, i don't know if these are the same students uh, that i have taken uh, class in the workshop have i taken a class uh, with your batch yes yes they are the same students madam same batch okay okay so they are you all are familiar with uh, this uh, booklet book that you are given right so uh, in this context we have three units in uh, today we are going to do this you all have the book i'm sure i have seen the book with you all so when you go back again the same request i'll have that please go through the book so that we can contribute as uh, sir perfectly said that we all can contribute to the programs uh, discussion so that we can enrich each other's knowledge about these students or adolescents because everybody is experiencing a different set of students because culture and social setups also you know influence uh, these adolescents in different ways since there are different people from uh, different teachers from different states so they can contribute also what is specific issue that they are facing in their state particularly or anything that they have seen so that we can enrich each other's knowledge right so in this uh, today we are going to have Uh, there are three <clears throat> units in block 1 one. one is facilitating physical and cognitive development the unit 2 is supporting psychosocial development and unit 3 will be building moral behaviors and values in adolescents so we'll uh, since in four classes we have to finish the whole bes 61 we'll try to finish one block approximately every day is that fine okay so when we talk about uh, the physical development who is an adolescent we all know because i have taken the workshop so i expect that we have already discussed all that we don't have to get into all that so facilitating physical growth and development will also help in their cognitive development because growth and development are so closely linked with each other right <coughs> sorry so when you are talking about uh, the physical and cognitive development physical we all know they have to eat well they have to rest well hmm? there is a growth spurt actually adolescence period is uh, that is why you suddenly realize that somebody has suddenly become tall hmm? because there is a sudden growth or sudden increase in growth of the adolescent suddenly height and weight will increase hmm? body organs uh, grow and mature so there are in addition to the hormonal changes that they are experiencing there is this growth spurt that you will yeah. experience in adolescents sorry is there any question then there will be this uh, sexual characteristics that they will show because this is the they will show the primary characteristics they have during puberty this is the puberty period also girls will go through different changes those who are with uh, the girls uh, re residential school or the residential program in the girls uh, uh, set up so they would know actually what uh, the, there will be premenstrual syndrome and all that um, disturbances that they go through because they are showing these primary sexual characteristics puberty also happens and the boys also go through this 
similar kind of developments as they are getting into this phase. And brain development also happens because this is a very important phase. And most of the uh, subjects that are taught during school, uh, if we are asked to go through the same school curriculum again, I might fail. I mean, I, it will be very difficult to remember so much, but the capacity of their brain is so vast and their ability to memorize everything is really uh, at the maximum. So uh, development of uh, brain during adolescence uh, happens. Then there is this uh, systems in the brain. Hmm? You all are having the book with you, or you can read that and come with your questions tomorrow also. Hmm? So there is a place in uh, the brain which is called amygdala. So this is the situation center. It's connected with your emotions also. It's a small structure in the brain, which is, uh, since it is related to your situation, so it will tell you how much you have eaten, whether you are full or not, hmm? uh, how much uh, you should be sleeping, all that will be giving the signals through the amygdala. Then there is this, uh, I don't know if the schools are having yoga and meditation classes. For, uh, do you have yoga meditation classes for the children in the school? Teachers? You don't? make them practice anything to focus their mind on so that it will increase their concentration. Is it practiced in the schools? No, I guess, right? I'll assume you can answer here in the message box also so that we can do the students uh, practice any uh, techniques of uh, meditation or focusing to increase their concentration power? Yes? OK, OK. OK, then. So uh, you must have experienced how much focus you are bringing into the present moment will increase the intensity of the experience. For example, uh, we were uh, having a uh, actually small workshop, one day workshop with this uh, corporate uh, people. So they were experiencing how mindfulness in, can increase their experiences and they can maximize their pleasure uh, and the experiences can be more pleasurable. So for example, eating also. Normally students know, explain uh, when you ask them about uh, the taste of food, they have so many complaints, right? So the same food will taste better if they are eating mindfully right so mindfulness while eating uh, is very important because they have to focus and taste like it goes through the taste buds and our uh, tongue which uh, we uh, we have experienced the front part is re responsible for one type of taste then bitterness sweetness uh, the sour taste these are all experienced on different parts of the tongue so mindfulness is about focusing on the present moment. If you're eating, you have to eat mindfully. Focus on how the grains of rice are feeling to your tongue. Hmm? Uh, we normally uh, did that. Uh, we did that workshop with almonds because we could get almonds only. In one workshop, we got uh, raisins only. Hmm? So the same food which you eat every day, rice, for example, you are eating rice every day. But if you are mindfully putting that piece of uh, uh, chapati or rice into your mouth and you let it stay there and let it get mixed up with the saliva, then feel it with your tongue, okay? Then you try to know. Okay. So when you try to know how it feels and uh, what is the texture, then slowly the juice of the chapati, if you're having the chapati in your mouth, then the juice uh, will slowly leave a small uh, amount of, uh, you know, flavor that uh, taste 
will be enhanced. You will like the same chapati that you are having every day by eating mindfully because you are focusing on every aspect of chapati, on the texture, how it feels to your tongue, whether it is rough, whether it is uh, smooth on the outside, how the inside feels. Hmm? Then you don't chew it immediately. You let the flavors and the taste get into your <clears throat> uh, sense of uh, taste buds and then you try to know how it feels to have that. So this is mindfulness tra uh, training that we uh, can have with the children also. So that they will enjoy their food more. And when they enjoy their food, the nutrients will be absorbed better. Okay. Then sleeping well. Normally they can, they also, complete, they don't sleep. Uh, the normal sleep pattern has changed because of many things they do all this as we were discussing in the workshop also like they get the phones and night time is the time actually they use the phones right that what that is what happens in these uh, hostels isn't it so when uh, the sleep pattern is disturbed so the uh, concentration memory everything gets disturbed also so they need a particular big why sleep is more important during the stage because this is the period when growth spot is happening so for the body to grow properly we need to sleep properly so that required amount of rest will be given to the brain and it can invest its energy in the important activities that is very important for this adolescent phase. Okay, so sleep has many functions. Like it helps to uh, relate. Uh, it is related to the immune system, metabolism. Food will be digested properly. Um, then there are respiratory problems uh, or cardiovascular problems which happens when people don't sleep properly. You must have seen they are given sleeping tablets when they complain about uh, cardiovascular issues or not able to sleep and which interferes with their normal health. They are given sleeping tablets so that the balance is restored. Okay. So uh, how to facilitate a good night's sleep? Mm -hmm. These are some pointers it is given. Uh, so you have to go. There is a sleep routine actually sleep hygiene we call so we maintain that and we enforce it with these young people and the adolescents or the youngsters young adults because in future if they continue with this this wrong sleep pattern that will interfere with their concentration power and they will not be able to enjoy their life to the maximum because all the time they will be in a hurry to finish the work because they haven't slept so they will try to find out some time to sleep, but they will not get sleep because it is a wrong time they're trying to sleep. Hmm, those uh, who start uh, working, suddenly there will be a change in their uh, time pattern that creates a lot of problem. So many people come actually with the sleep uh, problem. So we uh, suggest them to have a sleep hygiene or a routine sleep. So the, they have to follow a sleep routine and the screen time, normally it is seen that the blue screen has some impact on the um, alertness of the brain. So when people are, or these youngsters are staying awake and the, looking at the screen uh, of phone or the computer all the time or laptops, then this blue light from these electronic gadgets disturbs the sleep pattern because it interferes with the sleep hormones which normally helps in falling uh, asleep. When you are eating late also, there will be more energy spent for digesting the food. So brain will be, uh, our brain will be always engaged in digesting the food than making you asleep. So avoid normally eating at late night or drinking tea, coffee. We are always told that hmm, because uh, tea and coffee are um, normally, they interfere with uh, the sleep uh, sleeping pattern because they are taking uh, these are what uh, coffee. Normally, we take to stay alert, but if we are having 
coffee and going to bed, then falling asleep will be a problem. Bed is the place for sleeping only. If somebody is using the bed for other activities also, then bed will not remind them of the sleep. So we normally ask them to have a separate place for workstations or working for other uh, things or writing or reading. But when they want to sleep only, they will come to the bed. So these things normally help them to sleep better. And exercising since they are young uh, adolescents, <clears throat> so they have this habit of, uh, you know, spending the energy in some way or the other. So it has to be physical exercise because that way their physical stamina will be maintained and mentally they will be occupied in studies more. That is why we always advise them to exercise well and use all that bodily energy, which is uh, a major uh, important characteristic of this growth period, uh, adolescence, where they are going through hormonal changes and all that rush of hormones will be taken care of through this physical activities. They will not be diverted in other things. Okay. So they have to be uh, encouraged to go through exercise routines or play uh, outdoor games in the morning uh, or in the evening. Whenever there is time, they can go out and play. Okay. Any questions? till this point because uh, I think this is more about uh, interacting and uh, discussing the issues that, or something that you have observed and discussing it will help others also so you can ask your questions or anything that you have to contribute when I'm teaching is that okay right The teachers are not allowed to switch on the mic. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Ma'am, all the points are very clear. We are understanding them okay. very nicely. Uh, we are listening very carefully to whatever you are saying. Thank okay. you, ma'am. Thank you. Because uh, I would in, uh, be very happy if uh, you clarify all your doubts if something is there because I am assuming that you are looking at the book also when we are discussing all this because we don't have the time as I was saying also and I was going through the material so we'll just touch upon the points and then I'll expect you all to go to, through the details immediately so that it refreshes your mind actually it is fresh in your mind what we're discussing then go through the details okay then cognitive development. What is cognition? Cognition is actually the higher mental activities that is happening in the adolescence development period. So cognition is actually we are gathering information from our surrounding, the process of assimilating and accommodating the in information and using that for better understanding of the situations and use it in different situations for a better adaptation because all it is all about adapting to our environment what we are doing in the schools we are trying to adapt to the new environment new is because every day class is new because the students are coming with a fresh mind every day they are not the same way they are behaving sometimes they will be in a different mood and imagine all the students 50 60 so every day will Take it as a fresh day. और ये देखो अभी तो आते जा रहे हैं कुछ कुछ हो जाएगी तब आएंगे अभी नहीं है फिल बच्चे इसीलिए टाइम चलता है तीन बजे से आई बजे दो पैंतालीस पे बेल बजा देते हैं Yes. Yes. 
You're not audible, so you can type your questions also, anything that you have to say, then you can open your mic when required. That is also a better method, I think. Okay. So uh, there is this Piaget's theory of cognitive development, which talks about the process of assimilating and accommodating the information. Okay. If it is not related to our class, can we just switch off the mic? Because uh, it's not clearly audible. So I assume that there was some question. But uh, if it is not clearly audible, either you switch it off and again switch it on and take a question. Yeah, remedial we can daily is to be joined can daily this part counseling Brajendra sir, please up come microphone band KJ six six Brajendra sir, please up come microphone band KJ. Who is that? Okay. Yes. If you have something to say, then you can say or type in the chat box. Or I would request you all because it is not helping. I thought we can discuss, but it is creating confusion in the class. So I would request you all to switch off your mic. Okay. Bandkar DJ, please, Kinki Sabko Sunaini Dega. Okay. Can we start? Okay, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so there is this uh, theory of assimilating and accommodating the information according to Piaget's theory. Then there is this Vygotsky's theory of cognitive development. When we are trying to understand these developmental processes in cognition or in physical development, we refer to Normally, when especially if it is about cognitive development or higher mental activities, how they yes. develop, we will always refer to these theories to understand the process better. Because when we are trying to understand something which is related to human development or growth, then we will refer to the theories which are established by these uh, researchers or these um, psychologists who have uh, contributed through so much of research how the mental functioning occurs during adolescence and it during the developmental period what happens at each stage okay so the uh, he has proposed the social cultural influences on cognitive development of adolescence so uh, his theory was called social cultural theory of cognitive development hmm. uh, he talks about a zone of proximal development hmm. So, हर बच्चे का आएगा नहीं सो से सो किसी किसी का आएगा because सबका potential इतना नहीं होता कि सो में से सो आ जाए so it refers to the maximum capacity of a student the zone of proximal development or ZPD refers to the potential area of development that the child can reach all the children will have different abilities so we should not push the children to reach a particular high uh, uh, level of marks and it will put more pressure on them. That is why he has referred because kids as ZPD is always taken into consideration when we are talking about the cognitive development of the students. Okay. And then learning and intelligence. Am I connected? Uh, my internet is weak, it is saying. So can I just switch off my video yes ma'am um, yes because it is saying it's weak so it might just get disconnected so let me switch off the video i'll keep my mic open only like you all are doing okay thank you yes okay so 
the intelligence that we talk about there is a theory of uh, again we'll refer to the theories how to understand the intelligence of this adolescence we'll refer to the theories that are available to understand the intelligence of this uh, adolescents so there is or normally uh, in you know during developmental stages how the intelligence uh, grows or what are the parameters to measure intelligence so here we will have a theory of multiple intelligence which was given by gardner gardner's multiple intelligence has talked about different areas of uh testing the, the this there is a nine type of intelligence uh, if you can open the book and see hmm, it talks about musical abilities bodily kinesthetic <clears throat> interpersonal then verbal uh, intelligence verbal and linguistic language abilities your language abilities are also indicators of uh, intelligence logical and mathematical naturalistic visual spatial visual spatial for example you're trying to park your car so what you will do everybody is not the same expert in parking your vehicle some people will have a refined skill of parking the vehicle exactly the way they want so that is also an indicator of intelligence that is visual spatial okay then stonebox theory is a theory of intelligence which is called the triarchic theory of intelligence it has three it talks about three types of intelligence gardner talks about nine types nine indicators of intelligence which includes musical language abilities mathematical logical but stonebox has refined the categories by categorizing them into three headings he calls it triarchic theory of intelligence one is analytical second is creative and the third is practical intelligence okay can you see the see the hello hello am i connected am i connected yes ma'am okay okay it's echoing i don't know i don't know is everything, is everything okay, okay with, okay my, with connection? my connection yes ma'am yes ma'am yes, your ma voice is clear yes ma'am yes ma'am okay yes, ma oh. yes, ma okay okay so stone so stone book <clears throat> theory of intelligence, theory of intelligence. Three, areas. three areas analytical, analytical creative and practical is the critical thinking, critical thinking ability ma'am now, now your voice is, is equal my voice is equal to me also. me also let me disconnect this again again yes yes कर 
Sorry about the connection. Now it is. Now it is. Is it still going? Still going? Yes, I guess. Yes, I guess. Let me change the connection. Change the connection I'm sorry. Give I'm me sorry. one second. Give me please. one second, please. I hope it is okay now. Is it echoing? Yes, ma'am. Now it's okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you for being patient with me. These are the technical glitches. So what to do? So Stoneworks uh, theory of intelligence talks about analytical, creative, and practical. We have seen uh, this. Uh, this practical intelligence is more helpful actually when the students start, uh, you know, interacting with the outside world and go for jobs. And uh, basically, it is to make them accommodate in a better manner with their surrounding. We have seen the street smart people, right? We call them street smart. Mm, they can get things done, even if they are not so good academically. You will find them. They can do anything, and they can get, uh, you know. Uh, easily things done or the common sense is more there will be uh, highly uh, you know academically good uh, students but their common sense will be very low so unko bolo to are tumne kyun udhar se hatne gaye aag lagi thi to nahi pata nahi chala aag itna bad jayega aise bhi dekhe hain bacche aap logon ne dekha hoga hmm unko turant samajh mein nahi aata hai but waise academically they will be very good okay you must have seen that right any experience with such uh, students aap logo ne dekha hai aise bacche jo street smart hote hain or creative they come up with new ideas they love being innovative the innovative ideas keeps them engaged and they are very imaginative so that is a creative intelligence he talks about sternberg and analytical is 
Am I connected? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So these are the three types of intelligence he's talking about. An analytical is critical thinking ability or problem solving, which is a direct way of measuring intelligence. We all know that these are the abilities which will measure your intelligence. Okay. So uh, there are also, uh, you can go through the booklet and check your progress hmm. so that you will remember these points. And in future, when you are appearing for these exams, immediately when you rehearse or revise these things, there is a better uh, chance of remembering them very well. Hmm. So go through this, check your progress activities in the book. It will help you. Okay. So how to promote thinking and problem solving because as teachers you always are worried about how to get things into the head of the students so that they will be you know absorbing things in a better way and do well in their exams because it is a difficult task for the teachers also and it worries the teachers more than the students sometimes we think students are not so serious about their exams how come uh, it's so surprising we always think that way right Okay, so uh, how to promote this thinking and problem solving ability in the students is relating to the uh, classroom uh, learning to real life situations. But how to relate all that into real life situations so that they can, you know, uh, understand the link between real life situations and So promoting and thinking, uh, promoting thinking and problem solving is actually about the brainstorming sessions. Each child can come up with various alternatives to a problem. So uh, you encourage them to come up with different ways of thinking. Thinking out of the box, we say it. You always call it thinking out of the box. And encourage them to question because when they have questions piling one after the other, then they will lose interest. So if there is something that is bothering them and they have doubts in understanding, then you can encourage them to ask you questions so that they will participate in the classroom activities and they'll be more proactive in learning situations. Then organizing debate sessions, you must be sometimes it happens in um, sometimes i am not in the mood when there are less uh, of course these are pg students but when there are very less students so what i do just to keep the class engaged and give them some uh, activity we have these uh, sessions on presenting on a topic mm -hmm. so that also you can encourage sometimes in the, the children so that they can speak out mm -hmm. and they can come up with interesting topics also you will be surprised what interesting topics they come up with. I always give them the chance. They are in charge of this, uh, this deciding the topic. And sometimes they also decide who is going to say on what. Mm. So that will be a different way of teaching and engaging them and helping them to think and help them in the problem solving situations in real life uh, areas, not in the classroom situation only or in academics. Okay. Then uh, the, the impact of culture on physical and cognitive development. Mm -hmm. The socialization process, for example, the socialization process will differ from each uh, setup. For example, we have people from different areas today. Isn't it? Am I connected? I hope I am connected. Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, so uh, we have uh, teachers from different areas, uh, Chhattisgarh, and I saw somebody from uh, different areas. So the cultural experiences will also change the way uh, the development occurs. And one thing that you will find in one culture will not be the same in the different culture because it's a pan culture, we call it. 
it's not about cross cultural system which we will find in different countries the culture varies from one country to the other but here india is such a uh, it has such a rich culture which is specific to each area so it is pan cultural differences we'll see so development that happens in different cultures is also important and that way we can also en enrich others each other's experience language for example we were discussing that uh, these multilingual teachers are also very helpful in making the these kids understand hmm? sometimes they don't know the terms when they come to your school you must have seen that right the language will be different yes yes so uh, so all these differences actually that depends on the teacher also we teachers have a very important role to play how we are looking at these differences we are looking at these differences as a beautiful uh, you know way of exploring each other's culture or we see that as a barrier so the way we put it to the students it will be received in the same manner so we'll always try to engage the students in positive behavior only so that they will try to learn from each other it will not be ridiculing somebody for the language that's that they speak or how they behave or what they eat or what habits they have okay and there is this ecological theory by bronfenbrenner he has uh, the picture is not given here but there is a picture he has given like normally how the books are uh, design when you are teaching a small child what happens the books are like uh, first that learn about their family members the fa parents and their siblings then they learn about their immediate surroundings slowly it will move on to the social setup schools church or the temple so that is how he has talked about bronfenbrenner how the socialization process happens he talks about this his theory is called the ecological theory so the ecological theory that he has talked about is development is not independent rather it is influenced and shaped by a dynamic interaction what is that interaction interaction between various systems as i was telling you systems around the child first the child that is why the school small kids learn about this is my hand this is my father even in the drawings also they will be drawing about their family members this is my papa this is my mom this is my brother this is my sister slowly their area of interaction and knowing other people in the society will increase and their area will also enlarge so this is given in uh, it's not your uh, i'll try to show you that or you can google it also bronfenbrenner's um theory ecological theory okay. so it is about the interaction between various systems around the child first the home the school as i was saying community then the larger social groups religious and cultural institutions then comes the country hmm. that is how the courses are also designed the history books are also designed this way right or, or the general knowledge book or everything that you see in the, the school curriculum that is also following what they are expected to learn at what age so adolescence is a very uh, important phase of one's life so the experiences are very unique and the classroom is also a very important phase of their life whatever you have learned in your school days you will remember that even now if it was a pleasant experience of course or a bad experience but if it is really bad then you'll try to push it into the uh, area in your brain which we call uh, unconscious rather you don't want to remember about that because it is so humiliating it happens right i was asking in my class actually experience so this uh, cute boy actually he was very open about it and he said that many particular particular the other class me hmm. so school make pant hota tha sabko dete the 
द सेम पैंट यूज टू बी यू नो सर्कुलेटेड जिसको पैंट में हो जाता था उसके घर पे खबर जाता था सो दिस आर वेरी शेमफुल इंसिडेंट्स दैट दे विल रिमेंबर आल्सो सो द एक्सपीरियंसेस मैटर एंड व्हाट काइंड ऑफ फीलिंग दैट वी आर अटैचिंग टू दैट ओके एम आई कनेक्टेड प्लीज लेट मी नो व्हेन आई गेट डिसकनेक्टेड यस मैम वेल कनेक्टेड ओके सर आई ओपन माय यस yes i opened my video there was some problem in my connection sir so i had to switch off my i was getting echoed uh, voices of my own because stu students get encouragement when they, when they see their teacher <laughs> yes sir i know there was echoing uh, i was getting to hear so i had to switch off thank thinking you, that it will help in the signal at least i'm thank so sorry you, about you. that yes that is important today there is some problem with the connection sorry about that i hope now i am visible if i am getting disconnected please let me know okay so this ecological theory uh explains about the child's interaction with different systems in the society and how their area is slowly growing hmm, as they grow up and when they are adolescents also their interaction with different social groups is not fully developed because they will be feeling shy they will not go into different social situations if they are not comfortable depending on the, um, the the unique experiences also they have will also include the gender kahan pe ja rahe hain kon hai udhar udhar bacche hain jo boys hai ya girls hai they will have this typical questions you know so all that will be also influencing their interaction with different social groups and then there is this developmental problems in adolescence since we are talking about uh, uh, various uh, you know developments that happens the physical development psychosocial development cognitive development so when the development is not the same in each child or each adolescent so it will be sometimes uh, you know uh, affected by many factors that is why we when we talked about the physical development we discussed how they have to eat well and balanced food and sleep is important so in spite of that also because of the hormonal changes or changes in the growth hormone they will have problems so this developmental problems we will see in adolescents in many cases they are um uh, disabling for the child also right that is why we have to focus on their full development complete development focusing on their physical development they are taken well taken care of the, all the vaccinations are given all that is taken care of in the childhood because the growth and development should not be hampered in later stages of life okay so uh the most common problems that you will find during adolescence is relating to your to their physical growth and development which includes uh, body image for example we were discussing that also in the classroom may jyada moti ho gayi jyada mota ho gaya they start you know uh, eating less then deprive themselves from the important nutrients and then uh, also you know get uh, the sleep pattern will also get affected because their body is not getting the proper nutrients and they will be always tired either they will sleep more or they will not be able to sleep because their body needs important components in their food which is not given to the body because they are starving their body thinking that their um, weight is more or weight is less hmm? so uh, about the eating habits related to that we'll see what are the different eating uh, disorders they can develop later on since that is a different uh, uh, block that we have to discuss we'll discuss that related to the body image and eating habits concerns about eating patterns and using substances this is the age normally uh, since they are in these schools under the constant vigilance of such uh, jane we you know vigilant teachers they will not have this uh, use of substances Uh, a problem hmm? because i have seen you teachers being so involved 
in managing the students and they are not having this substance abuse at least but in other schools we have seen like in these public schools and these international schools substance abuse is rampant they are so young yet they know what to you know which substance is actually available in these pan shops it's uh, so easily available i didn't know even one of my students said that madam udhar to milta hai udhar uska naam bhi hota hai typical pan ke shop mein jao to so uh, they have this risky behavior risk taking uh, behavior is also seen uh, as we were discussing like uh, they will not judge the consequences of their behavior they will have this daredevil uh, tendency kar jaunga ye you must have seen these uh, youngsters who karke chale jayenge jo motorcycle leke jate hain na this is this uh, risky behavior that they want to show is a uh, small uh, youngsters then the untimely pregnancy hopefully you know that is controlled in these schools but uh, getting involved with uh, the partners and uh, since there is no sexual education properly given to the students they are normally uh, there were few cases i must uh, tell you that it's uh, not uh, completely uh, you know ignored sometimes uh, before they realize they get pregnant there was this young 15 year old girl uh, from a very very sad case so before she realized actually she was pregnant so the students need to know about their body and how to respect it how to protect themselves from this unwanted pregnancies sexually transmitted diseases they need to be taught about how and how dangerous it is hiv aids uh, then aggression uh, uh, also like getting angry and having no control on their anger these are all issues we have seen with this adolescence and also this is the stage actually because we always say keep good friends hmm? your friend circles will talk about, tell about your nature hmm? apne bare mein janna chahte ho to apne friends ko dekho bolte hai na so this anti social activities are also normally seen during this stage because they get influenced by the bad easily hmm? chalo movie dekhte hain chalo udhar deewar phaan ke chalte hain these things actually interest them more than the positive things that they discuss hum chalo padhai karte hain kitne bacche jayenge but chalo movie dekhte hain chupke there will be 10 students ready immediately right uh, among them i mean badmashi karke bhi so anti social active they are very prone to uh, get into this habit of uh, developing anti social activities also hmm? kabhi gussa aa gaya kisi ko if they have anger management issues also चलो साइकिल का चेन खोल के देखो किसी को देखते हैं देख, दिखा देंगे हमारा भी यूनिटी है हमारा भी ग्रुप है सो दिस इज हाउ यू नो दे गेट इन्वॉल्व इन नेगेटिव बिहेवियर पैटर्न्स इफ इट इज नॉट कंट्रोल्ड प्रॉपरली थ्रू दिस टीचिंग मेथड्स और कंट्रोलिंग देम थ्रू एग्जांपल्स आल्सो Okay, so these are the developmental problems uh, during adolescence. Uh, substance use disorders and disabilities that arises because of such uh, injuries. Normally, uh, we were discussing also in the workshop that they have this tendency of harming themselves. Cut mark the kega apko wrist pe. They will be involved in self harming behavior because they want to get a release of the hormonal rush that they are experiencing. so they will try to do something so that they are getting a relief kyun kiya aise cut kiya kyun hath mein to nahi pata nahi mujhe to acha lagega soch ke kar liya karte karte zyada ho gaya so this also they say keep saying okay so there is a uh, the teachers are also uh, having this extra burden in addition to the academic course that they are teaching and taking care of the students in the hostel they have to be aware about the social emotional problems that these adolescents are facing because they have to handle these adolescents through their problems also so that their academic achievement will be not hampered because all these are related to their 
academic achievement and other activities that they are focused on in the school as they are you know getting involved in the different activities also so the role of uh, residential schools especially the jnv that you all are teachers in so in facilitating the physical and cognitive development among students what is the role of residential schools so these steps can be taken by the residential schools there is this list you can go through that quickly i'll just go through one or two points then you can go through that since there is so much to cover today okay so uh, instilling self confidence in the adolescents this is a very important point because once they are confident about their own self and about their own abilities am i connected ha uh, yes ma'am okay okay because um my it is showing that my connection is unstable okay thank you okay so instilling self confidence in the adolescents and helping them to be at ease with their body and physical growth is a very important contribution that the teacher can do in the life of an adolescent you will remember the teacher who praised you for your activities are bahut acha aap khel rahe ho aur aaj to bahut energy hai if this is something the teacher has told you you will remember that positive feedback that you are getting from the teacher right so you are teaching them actually if you are criticizing them moti ho gaya thoda ha kam karo so that will not help them to build the self confidence it will hamper their self confidence so what kind of encouragement that we are using for this young adolescents is also very important so we have to instill that self confidence in them motivate the adolescents to engage in activities and adopt strategies for their physical development like encouraging them to have good uh, balanced diet all that is a uh, positive steps in ensuring the physical develop proper physical development of the adolescent okay and there are other points also you can go through that because it is easy to understand so i am just leaving it to you all is that okay yes sir okay then the second uh, is supporting psychosocial development all this was discussing about the physical development how the physical development happens what are the things that you can do for a balanced uh, diet uh, sleep patterns all that is important so support uh, the psychosocial development is also important because when you say psychosocial what does it mean the social activities that the uh, adolescent is getting engaged in because they learn from the social interactions also that is why we in the gardner's theory also the nine pointers that he has talked about the parameters one is intrapersonal and the other is interpersonal how they be perceive themselves and what is their interaction with others also intra and inter so here also the differences in behavioral pattern of adolescents uh, will also matter uh, what kind of behavior they are showing in social situations and what is the thinking pattern they have developed and what is that belief pattern and the behavioral pattern of these adolescents is also important because the schools uh, uh since it is uh, it will not be different because it is a residential school so it will be somewhat more or less similar to the home environment maybe hmm? but in the hostel and in the home they slowly they will get adapted to the hostel and they will not want to go to home also sometimes it is seen i don't know the situation what the jnv uh, students do but normally in uh, other hostels initially the students cry then they don't want to come to home on holidays also like they will be in a hurry to go back to the hostel because that is where they are enjoying their freedom and this is the phase actually adolescence uh, is the period they want to not to be called or looked as children they want to be treated as grown up uh, kids so at home they will not get that facility of being treated as grown ups 
so they don't want to be treated like children so they will be in a hurry to go back to the hostel where they are independently handling their own life so that is why they are more comfortable in the hostel like situations so you rather enlighten me your students want to come back or they want to stay in the uh, stay at home when they go back they are not coming to the hostel easily how it is they willingly come back you can type here also i know the mic is creating a lot of problem once you switch it on it echoes so this sense of freedom actually is very important that is why they are you know fighting with their parents fighting with the teachers they want to go out so accordingly their behavior will also be different so the psychosocial experiences of these kids uh, through this stage is important and how they behave okay so there is this uh, there is so much to cover so i won't go into the details you can go through the case hmm? Hmm, that is maintained here so uh, more importantly this is the phase where they are developing their own self concept because they were treated as a kid when they were very small now they want to have their own identity so the self concept that they are developing will be influenced by many factors so they want to feel confident about who they are still they are exploring their own self so in that process the cognitive development that happens uh, the experiences that they go through uh, in different social situations all that helps in developing their own self concept when they are a member of a group which is more interested in studying uh, story books slowly they would think that i am the person who loves story uh, re reading stories or they will think that in future i will be your storyteller or i'll be a writer because their self concept is developed and influenced by the time they are spending with others and how they are seeing looking at themselves hmm? and slowly that keeps changing as they are changing their interest and um, the influence of family members the family uh, if the family we must have seen a doctor's family if the parents are doctors then the child will always be interested these days it is not the same uh, but a doctor's family will always have more doctor kids trying to follow their parents also hmm? or uh, similarly the self concept that they are trying to develop is completely about their own uh, image that they want to build okay then there is the self esteem what is this a self esteem self concept is how they perceive themselves whether they perceive themselves as strong or brave or uh, or as uh, you know like uh, as a player as a good player or um, that self concept is something which is their own idea about themselves how they want to look, look at themselves but the self esteem is how they subjectively evaluate themselves this subjective evaluation of their own self worth subjective is self esteem is what it is different from they, self they are on they are on respect or value yes respecting your own self right simply put hmm yes oh, yes simply if we say self esteem my self esteem is hurt hmm? so somewhere somehow you felt that 
you were not respected properly or maybe you should have more respect or uh, respecting oneself hmm? so they have this varying levels of self esteem which is influenced by the experiences that they receive from home that is why when parents criticize their kids it affects their self esteem that is why we always advise the parents not to compare or criticize their kids it is very harmful so it hampers their self esteem so the experiences that they receive from their parents or family members at the school and by from their uh, bullying is also that is why bullying was stopped completely and it was punishable uh, now it has become a very uh, serious offense if people bully each other because bullying actually hampers the self esteem of a kid right because it will down their moral they will think that i am not good enough and when people start thinking that i am not good enough uh, i need to improve in such areas they don't like me my parents don't like me or my teacher has such things to say about me it's not a very good feeling and slowly all their cognitive development or psychosocial development will be also hampered by this criticism constant criticism that they will be getting or this comparison that they will have from their parents or teachers so how to improve the self esteem among uh, adolescents help them to identify the strengths we have this swot analysis i don't know if you all know about this swot analysis strengths weaknesses opportunities and uh, sorry uh, threats hmm? s w o t so similarly here also you have to help them to understand their own strengths so that they will emphasize more on their positive qualities so that that will give their boost moral boost and they will feel more confident that these are my strong points how many of us have done a swot analysis of our own personality like what are the strengths or the strong points that i have and what are the weaknesses what are the opportunities that i have in my life which others don't have maybe then the threats to my you know growth all that can be then we try to convert the opportunity threats into opportunities or positive qualities can be seen as uh, you know very um, strong uh, character strengths like which will give you a moral boost that yes i am this and this is my strong point i am very honest for example so encouraging them to have this positive self talk is very important and that has to be given by the teachers and the parents that are at home who are constantly interacting with the child so the self worth can be built through these processes of encouragement and they have to be given some kind of freedom also when we are trying them to develop into confident uh, individuals we cannot always try to control them we should know when to let go of their uh, you know uh, we should never try to control them all the time they should have their own uh, decision like what to eat and what not to eat we cannot force them all the time you know ha- then they will develop this uh, aversive uh, feeling towards certain types of food then when they grow up they will never drink milk रोज रोज जबरदस्ती करेंगे तो अच्छा आज कॉफी मिला के पी लो कुछ कर लो दे हैव सम इफ दे हैव सम फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी देन दे विल थिंक दैट आई हैव सम फ्रीडम आल्सो इन चूजिंग व्हाट आई वांट टू हैव इन माय लाइफ सो दैट गोस अ लॉन्ग वे इन बिल्डिंग देयर सेल्फ वर्थ बिकॉज़ दे विल नो दैट आई एम इन कंट्रोल ऑफ माय लाइफ एंड व्हाट आई वांट इन माय लाइफ ओके एंड Uh, they have to balance freedom with guidance you have to give them the freedom that will help them to take decisions for their own life situations but at the same time they have to given they have to be given proper guidance also like we cannot let them go without any proper guidance so that they will do some mistake and come back with a big uh, trouble for future okay so this uh, balancing of freedom with guidance is very important and there should be encourage to do things in a creative manner and there are there is a if you have the book with you you can see this 
Erickson's uh, theory of development says that there are different stages in a person's life and each stage is actually has two contradictory uh, what do you call it uh, characteristics for example trust and mistrust when you are playing with the child bachon ko dekha hoga fake ke pakadte hain chote bachon ko ma parents or you know hawa mein uchal ke fir pakadte hain bachcha trust karta hai hai na yes agar ek bar gir gaya bachcha chhota hai ek saal ka hi hai but agar ek bar haath se fisal ke gir gaya so they will have this trust issue they will not they will start crying usko chalo 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 dekhte hain kaise bachcha ko bolenge to they will have this constant fear and they'll start crying so the virtue and crisis associated with each stage or age is also important and there is a negative outcome from all that and according to the age there are different uh, stages erickson has talked about at the age of one year trust and mistrust versus mistrust if it is not developed properly then there will be a tendency in future they will have trust issues they will mistrust people if it is not handled properly at the right stage from starting from so during adolescence will focus on this age only 13 to 18 for example identity versus role confusion as we were seeing that this is the period when they are developing their self concept okay so when their self concept is developing and they are developing a sense of identity about their own self worth if it is not handled properly they will always have this role confusion what they want and what they are they will not be able to know their true self unko khud ko nahi malum hoga unka khud ka kaisa nature hai okay so they will always be a rebel Mm, that is the negative outcome of that situation mm. similarly there are different uh, since the age is not uh, during school time i just discussed about uh, this uh, stage 5 13 to 18 which uh, you people will be handling A identity versus role confusion okay and identity issues among adolescents the most common ways that they will exhibit these issues with self identity is seeking status symbol you must have seen kon kis kaisa wala phone laya they will try to have the same kind of phone then ghar pe jhagda karke kuch karke they will want the similar kind of phone that their friend has because it has extra applications maybe or something that they think is a status symbol ये अगर ये नहीं हुआ तो मुझे मानेंगे नहीं बाकी बच्चे दिस बिकम्स अ स्टेटस सिंबल समटाइम्स बाय यू नो दे ट्राई टू कॉपी द स्टाइल्स एंड क्लोथ्स ऑफ देयर हीरोज आल्सो द रोल मॉडल्स दैट दे फॉलो एंड देयर इज दिस हाई रिस्क बिहेवियर दैट टिपिकली दिस ग्रुप विल शो लाइक दे विल स्टार्ट एक्सपेरिमेंटिंग विद द बैड स्टफ because the forbidden apple will always be interesting for them because they are asked not to get into uh, you know bad habits like chewing pan or uh, the what do you call puriya hmm? the gutka gutka yes hmm? this young uh, students school kids also do your kids uh, do that gutka khate hain नहीं खाते गुटका तो यहाँ पे बच्चा बच्चा खा लेते हैं आई हैव सीन देम एक्चुअली इफ यू वॉच अ स्मॉल पैन शॉप सिटिंग लिटल अवे फ्रॉम दैट शॉप यूल फाइंड दिस यंग किड्स कम दे बाय दिस गुटका पैकेट्स दे इट दे टेक इट एक्चुअली देखा है कितना कॉमन है ये यू हैव टू ऑब्जर्व मे बी so these are all 
problems or risk uh, that is associated with this uh, stage they will try to experiment which is forbidden for them they will try to know how it feels to drink alcohol they will smoke they will try to imitate the heroes and do those poses hmm? cases sharuk khan pk matlab um aise pakadta hai cigarette so this is the stage actually they will try to experiment everything and they not listen to the parents or teachers because they are asking them not to do it they'll do it and they'll see how does it feel because this is a period of curiosity they will be very curious to know about their outside world and it is more likely that they will be influenced by the negative situations more than the positive situations and watching uh, all these uh, videos on the phone also like porn uh, all that is so rampant these days i had parents come and explain uh to me that uh, it is not good what they are saying and they were so hesitant to say kya dekha maine kaha kya dekha fir bacche ke phone pe je itna pareshan ho they were not able to talk about it so when there is this uh gap of communication they were angry with the child but the child usko ghuma ke phira ke bolte the बहुत गलत कर रहा है हमको सब मालूम है क्या करता है बट दे वर नॉट सेइंग इट स्ट्रेट दैट तुम ऐसे देख रहे थे तो हमने देख लिया ये पॉन साइट्स क्यों देख रहे थे ये नहीं बोल के घुमा फिरा के उसको डांट रहे सो हेंस देर इज अ प्रॉब्लम इन ओपन कम्युनिकेशन आल्सो ओके and uh, being a counselors or teachers we have to be very open about such things if it is happening in the children and adolescents <coughs> we should not feel shy or hesitate to call <coughs> to call the issue an issue and handle it directly right <coughs> excuse me yes i can see the message jayashree madam has said comparing is not good yes sorry so uh, this rebellious nature also because of this identity crisis they will be confused about who they are then the negative outcome will be they will be rebellious in nature so they will start you know uh, looking for autonomy or freedom then this uh, group is actually this age is so sensitive to everything that they will react instead of responding to the situation they'll react to whatever is being told to them unko kuch bolo bolo to ulta hi samajhte hain hai na kuch sahi se bolo to ulta samjhenge ulta baat karenge होता है ऐसे है ना मे बी नॉट इन द स्कूल सो मच बट विथ आर ओन किड्स इट हैपन्स अ लॉट राइट द टीन एज इज टिपिकल बिहेवियर वी से देखा है आप लोगों ने उल्टा समझना उल्टा बात करना नहीं Okay. We'll see how much we can cover. Yes. Okay. So educating them about sexuality, so that as a guma pira ke baat nahi karna padega, we can address the issues because we always encourage them to know the information to get the right kind of information from the right source instead of trying to learn it from porn sites or from all these cheap books or. Uh, from their friends who are not the right source they should have the right source of information and they should be taught about these things so that they will have a very healthy idea about the sexuality that they are developing into okay and how to develop them in becoming more emotionally balanced 
emotions will be very extreme during this phase. They will be very angry. The, uh, this uh, too much of all these emotions will be seen. Hmm? Anger management issues will be there. You will see that they are getting agitated very quickly. Hmm? So the strategies related to interpersonal aspect, which you know, uh, which is related to the emotional competence. Emotional competence is how well they can manage their emotions and be in control of the emotions. Hmm. So in that context, this is also what we call emotional intelligence. I don't want to get into that detail again because emotional intelligence is not given here. But it is a very important component when we try to uh, give these corporate trainings also. Emotional intelligence is very important based on which actually people get the promotions. How well somebody can be, you know, emotionally balanced so that they can handle a group of people. Hmm? So practicing resilience, uh, cognitive restructuring. Hmm? Cognitive restructuring is if you are thinking in a negative manner, we have to change the way you are thinking so that you can start looking at the same situation in a very positive manner. So these are the practices we can ask them to do. Okay. Then there are these activities you can go through quickly. Uh, and when you go back, I would ask or advise you all to go through the details and also do the activities which will help you in memorizing everything. Okay. Then there is this problem of substance abuse. How a teacher can help in substance abuse problems? Hmm? Have you come across substance abuse issues in your students? And can it be controlled through the teacher's intervention? You can have open conversations about these uh, sit, uh, issues with the child so that they will open up and they will be more receptive to your suggestions also. OK. Then self-harming behavior and suicidal thoughts that come to them. How, uh, we'll discuss that more in the later uh, block. So I'm just ignoring this component for the time being, because we'll study that in more detail in the other block. OK. Then there are these issues that they go through, self-harming behavior and suicidal thoughts that come to them because they are impulsive in nature. And this impulsive nature is actually more harmful because without thinking, they act. When we call them impulsive, they will be, you know, always quickly taking action without much thinking. So that is also seen during this. And violence is also absorbed. And that is a major concern among adolescents because they get violent and they get into group clashes, uh, groups, then the situation gets very hyper. People get uh, the, the students, they get very hyper. Then they start uh, you know, getting violent and abusive towards each other. So that, uh, again, leads to different uh, types of other issues like physical um, harm, then uh, fighting, gang attack, all that vandalism will happen, which could be related to the anger management issues that they are facing in their life. And they haven't been really taught how to control the violence. OK, so the, what is the role of a teacher in such a situation? You have to constantly interact with, with them and channelize the energy of the students in a positive manner because they are full of so much energy. So they will not think of consequences. This is how they will think. So the teacher's role is to channelize the physical energy because this is the maximum energy that they are experiencing during this stage. So uh, you can channelize the energy of these adolescents in a productive manner so that they will not get into these negative ways of showing their energy anymore. And they have to constantly interact with the adolescents so that they can share their ideas openly. And when they are feeling negative also, they can share, Sir, I feel like I'm doing 
पता नहीं मुझे क्यों गुस्सा आ रहा है लग रहा है सो इन अ वेरी फ्रेंडली मैनर यू कैन डिस्कस दिस इश्यूज विद योर स्टूडेंट्स आल्सो इफ यू हैव दिस ओपन कम्युनिकेशन चैनल विद देम ओके एंड देयर आर अनहेल्दी रोमांटिक रिलेशनशिप्स व्हिच अफेक्ट्स दिस एडोलेसेंस एडोलेसेंट डेलिंक्वेंसी इज आल्सो एन इश्यू देयर आर यंगस्टर्स हु गेट इनटू कॉन्फ्लिक्ट विद द लॉ so there are uh, re- homes also for which they are referred to like to reform their behavior delinquent homes mm-hmm. juvenile delinquent homes they go there for reforming their behavior and become clean mm-hmm. so there are some micro skills for handling the psychosocial problems so this uh, micro uh, skills for handling psychosocial problems is some of the micro skills are observation active listening giving them the feedback then disclosing them the right kind of information refusal skills these are all micro skills for handling the psychosocial problems in adolescence okay active listening is for example when you are actively listening it creates a different kind of feeling in the student they would know that you care for them you feel for them and you empathize with them so that makes a big difference in their thinking way of thinking and how they perceive the situation and you also okay providing them the feedback is also important teachers can give positive feedback to them so that they will have enhanced self concept and since it is all about enhancing their ideas about their own uh, self teachers positive feedback will matter a lot in their self concept development also so we always advise that the teachers have to focus on the positivity because there is a theory actually when we focus on the positivity mode the negativity will fizzle out and will not think about the negative anymore because we are so full of positive uh, feelings positive feedback positive encouraging words so the child will automatically be encouraged and will always be in a heightened level of energy which is always motivating them to do more to achieve more and to do positive things in the life think of positive things in the life okay then building moral behavior and values in adolescents why moral behavior since we are talking about their development we cannot control their development to certain extent when it comes to physical development jisko jitna lamba hona hai jitna mota hai होना है वो होंगे वहाँ मोटा पतला तो खाने के ऊपर डिपेंड भी करता है बट थिंग्स आर ऑल्सो इन्फ्लुएंस्ड बाय द जेनेटिक फैक्टर्स राइट सो इन्फ्लुएंसिंग द डेवलपमेंट एंड ग्रोथ विल नॉट बी ऑलवेज पॉसिबल थ्रू द टीचर्स इंटरवेंशन बट वेन वी आर फोकसिंग ऑन देर एकेडमिक अचीवमेंट स्किल्स और देर कॉग्नेटिव डेवलपमेंट साइको सोशल डेवलपमेंट ऑल दैट कैन बी अचीव्ड बाय बिल्डिंग द मॉरल कैरेक्टर और द मॉरल बिहेवियर एंड इंस्टिलिंग वैल्यूज इन एडोलेसेंस विल गो अलॉन्ग वे इन एंश्योरिंग दैट ऑल द अदर डेवलपमेंट्स आर हैंड इन हैंड सो दैट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर टू बिल्ड मॉरल बिहेवियर एंड वैल्यूज इन एडोलेसेंस okay in that context we'll have some theories that we have here to refer to any questions before we get into this moral development hmm? we are clear so far right yes sir okay so when we are talking about moral development moral morality is a sense of right and wrong simply put when you ask what is this morality it is about the values that the child has or develops and a sense of right and wrong what is uh, do's and don'ts 
right? So the objective of giving this uh, moral development a lot of importance is because that will control life in general. Because what ideas you have about the right things and wrong things will decide a lot about how and what kind of a life you are going to lead. Okay. So that will be slowly instilled into the individual and how they see that is how they will also perceive the law of the land like the legal uh, processes that we follow is also linked with our moral principles all that all these are so connected with each other the legal system that uh, you if you focus on the institutional method uh, uh, how it is encouraged or you know punished uh, the moral behavior there is the law which is you know there to protect uh, the wrong from uh, right from wrong the wrong behavior is always punished and adolescents when they are getting into trouble there are uh, categories where children will be you know those who are in conflict with law the juvenile delinquents all are put in different homes to refine their behavior and restructure or reconfigure their cognitive ideas or ideas about morality because sometimes their consequences following a particular wrong behavior is not wired properly so they will keep doing that is how the antisocials develop because they don't pay much attention to the consequences when they are doing some wrong activity so when they are not able to foresee the consequences, they'll keep on repeating the same antisocial activity time and again because they would think that they can escape because once they escaped or they could be forgiven or their parents were known to the police or something. So that is how they get encouraged to continue the same kind of behavior. We had a, a young child actually who used to, you know, push all the classmates it's so badly that uh, injury when the parents actually were uh, you know reported by the injured uh, child's parents so the parents actually are the culprit because they try to protect the child saying to kya ho gaya bacche to aise hi karte hain parents ke paas thodi na aata hai ye sab okay so this will actually encourage the child that he is free to do anything and my parents are not going to say anything to me. So we have to give them the freedom also, the right kind of guidance as we were discussing in the previous point. They have to be given the freedom to choose what kind of activities they want to get involved in. But at the same time, we should have the controls and tell them give them the right kind of feedback the positive feedback has to be given but if it is a negative feedback also it has to be given in a very constructive manner so that they will be more receptive and they will change their behavior okay so building characters is very important than building the intellectual abilities of these kids because character will go a long way in ensuring a healthy and peaceful life for the child when they grow into adults Okay. Then uh, when we talk about the different approaches to moral development, as I was saying, to understand something or a concept, we always depend on the theories. And the theories were given by these famous people who we rely upon for understanding a concept. So one of those theories is, John Piaget's theory of moral development, where Piaget has talked about theories of children's uh, concept about the rules and moral judgments that they develop about different social situations and behaviors of individuals. How people should be punished when some wrong uh, activity is done how people judge others wrong activities and their own wrong activities. We tend to be more lenient towards our own wrong behavior, but we strictly evaluate others wrong behaviors and we become, you know, uh, more uh, 
uh, stubborn uh, when somebody is pointing out our uh, flaws in our character or in our moral belief patterns because we think that uh, because it is developed over a period of time now that we have reached a stage but for this youngsters they are still developing their sense of right and wrong so this is the best period to give them the moral teaching and in children actually we have seen that school mein jaisa hota tha moral science unko moral science padhaya jata tha then they would learn all these principles of right and wrong then moral judgments through stories and all that then the punishment factor what kind of behavior will lead to punishment what will give me the reward so depending on the reward that they are getting for showing good behavior or the punishment that they are getting by doing the wrong activities or doing the wrong showing the wrong behavior will also encourage the pattern of behavior that they are going to continue and maintain okay Here. So Piaget has talked about two main types of moral thinking because our thinking will influence our behavior. The way we think will make us behave in particular manner. So there is this moral realism he has talked about, which is heteronomous morality and moral relativism, autonomous morality. Piaget has given this theory. long time back in 1932 so moral realism is between the when the child is very small they will have this heteronomous morality stage where morality is forced from outside kyunki parents aise bolte hain aise karne ke liye that is why they are doing at this age group actually they will not question mujhe aise kyun karne ko bolte ho they will just follow the parents or teachers any questions since we just have left 15 minutes only is there any question you want to ask no questions ma'am what is the autonomous morality of moral relativism okay ram prasad sir i got your question okay so piaget's uh, theory since we are depending on this theories to understand moral behavior in human beings so this uh, theory talks about actually the theory piaget has given he has talked about moral thinking first because before we behave morally it is our thought which is making us behave in particular ways पहले सोचते हैं फिर काम करते हैं नॉर्मली सिंस इट इज अबाउट मॉरल बिहेवियर ऐसे भी लोग होते हैं बिना सोचे काम करते हैं सिंस इट इज अबाउट मॉरल बिहेवियर एंड मॉरल राइट एंड रॉन्ग सो ही टॉक्स अबाउट टू काइंड ऑफ मॉरल थिंकिंग मॉरल रियलिज्म एंड मॉरल रिलेटिविज्म मॉरल रियलिज्म है जो हेटरोनोमस मॉरलिटी हेटरोनोमस मॉरलिटी में क्या है इट इज नॉर्मली सीन during the stage of 5 to 9 years when the child is small not even an adolescent also when they are very small they will not question the authority which is asking them to behave in a particular way unko bola gaya hai to wo aise hi karenge usko mat maarna punishment milega ha tumhara chhota bhai hai tumhara friend hai usko maarna mat so they listen to you without asking कि वो तो मुझे मारा मैं क्यों नहीं मारू राइट सो दे जस्ट फॉलो यू इट इज दैट इज वाई दिस काइंड ऑफ मॉरलिटी इज फोर्स फ्रॉम आउटसाइड एंड सिंस इट इज सीन इन अ पर्टिकुलर एज ग्रुप विच इज फ्रॉम फाइव टू नाइन मॉरल रियलिज्म दे रिगार्ड द रूल्स दैट इज सेट बाय द पेरेंट्स और टीचर्स एज अनचेंजेबल उनको लगता है इसमें कोई चेंज नहीं हो सकता क्योंकि बोला गया है मुझे ये करना ही पड़ेगा ठीक है सो दे विल जस्ट एक्सेप्ट दिस रूल्स व्हिच इज गिवन टू देम बाय द ऑथोरिटी फिगर वेदर इट इज अ पेरेंट और अ टीचर 
so they will think that if i am going to break the rule or the law that is set by them for me then there will be serious punishment kyunki unko bola gaya hai aise nahi karoge to aake dekh lunga normally that is how the children are handled so the fear of punishment will actually make them follow what they are being told okay that is moral realism ram krishna sir or who was the person who asked the, ram prasad sir hmm. that is moral realism and what is this moral relativism when the child grows a bit more hmm, above 10 years that was between 5 to 9 years during this 10 year plus period the stage of autonomous morality hmm, autonomous means self governing or self directed they will have their own say they will start questioning actually hmm, acha aisa nahi karu to kya ho jayega aapne to kaha tha pichle baar कोई नहीं करेगा वो कैसे गलती किया फिर मैं क्यों ना करूं सो दे विल हैव दिस क्वेश्चंस कमिंग अप इन देयर माइंड सो द कांसेप्ट ऑफ राइट एंड रॉन्ग विल बी बेस्ड ऑन द इंटेंशन ऑफ द पर्सन एंड द कॉन्सिक्वेंस उनको जो बोला गया है इट इज नॉट एब्सोल्यूट आल्सो लाइक दे विल नो दैट देयर इज सम फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी इन व्हिच दे कैन बिहेव so they keep on changing their ideas about right and right and wrong okay so they keep on restructuring and reframing and understanding and again changing their own version of moral issues because they see their world through their own eyes and they are growing also in uh, their age i mean they are more than 10 years and they have their own self concept developing and they are trying to understand the concepts from different perspectives okay clear uh, who asked ram prasad sir ram prasad sir uh, clear yes 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 madam okay okay uh, thank you but i i have another question how to control this madam we are not trying to... i have i have another question madam i have asked yes yes please kya kya dekha dekha nahi maine does autonomous morality come during atolis yes autonomous is they are developing their own sense of morality slowly they will start questioning the authority if it is not acceptable to them unko agar theek se matlab agar wo theek nahi laga Uh, sometimes the it is very convoluted i mean the culture also plays an important role what is moral in our culture may be immoral in others culture or vice versa i mean in western cultures having a boyfriend is very common used to be now it has become common also uh, or girlfriend for that matter right isn't it yes madam mm. but a uh, few years back 20 years back क्या होता था इट वॉज अ हॉ काइंड ऑफ थिंग हो ऐसे कैसे कर लिया उसको बॉयकट करो उसके साथ कोई बात मत करो ऐसे भी होता था अच्छा बच्चा को देखो इतना कम उम्र में हाँ लड़कियों से बात करने का मन करता है दिस वॉज द आइडिया राइट सो कल्चरल इन्फ्लुंस ऑल्सो मैटर इन मॉरल जजमेंट्स सो वी आर नो ट्राइंग टू यू से टू कंट्रोल इट how can we try to control the moral judgment of a developing adolescent we can only guide them the moment we think of controlling them they will become rebellious hai na dekha hai aapne bahut baar aisa hota hai not in all cases but sometimes they become very rebellious because they take it personally now that their independent self concept is developing and they feel that they have their own say and they have a right to lead their life the way they want hmm okay so we can guide them like i was saying we can give, give them the freedom with proper guidance so that they will come and have a open communication channel with them also 
so that when they are in a dilemma they will come to us only so that way we can control when they are coming to us for guidance because they know this is the person who i can trust because we have that open openness and that uh, freedom is given from our side as teachers that i am there always to help you so it is a long process and so many factors will be responsible if we are thinking of controlling it then we have to develop an atmosphere where they will feel free and that way only we can control so that the controlling behavior or the our control will not be very negatively perceived right ram prasad sir i hope i am clear yes 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 madam but uh, when the students uh, they they are not in a position to listen the actually the counseling or listen the words the advices or the suggestions they are not in a position to accept anything so how to create such atmosphere okay so it will not happen overnight i would say hai na turant suddenly you know if you have shown a particular pattern of uh, image because the teachers also have their own images perceived by the students hmm. so suddenly there will be no change so to facilitate that open communication and to increase the receptivity to what you are saying has to be nurtured over a period of time hmm. so that you know you when you are trying to teach them something they will take it very seriously and respect it also that was your question right sir yes yes madam so it is not an overnight thing suddenly there will be some change we have to develop that uh, connection with them and uh, that trust they should be having in the teacher and that uh, openness and being available for them no matter what in all situations will develop this trust versus mistrust that we saw also in the childhood it is seen but that also continues who to trust and who not to trust will be decided by the feedbacks they are getting from us so if it is a you know always a healthy feedback we are giving them they will always come to you when in real dilemma so at those moments actually it will not be controlling actually they will look at it as a guiding thing they will perceive it as you are guiding them in the right direction and they will respect it also but madam one thing it is found no most of the time yes that uh, uh, one or two students only uh, they do the mischievous activities in group and knowingly yes. they do it ah uh, knowingly they do it eh? yes. and uh, it is the, yes yes and yes. it is very difficult to find out actually the real culprit and they hide it in group yes we uh, uh, at the same so in time, this situation what do we should do okay i would uh, emphasize on one important factor also like uh, in psychology normally we always say uh, there are three ways of looking at human beings everybody is equal because we are human beings so we will have a same same way of behaving because the first principle is everybody is equal then the second principle is some people are equal some people will be equal to each other in characteristics hmm? that is why we form these groups acche bachcho ka group gande bachche ka group aur badmaas bachcho ka group hai na and each individual is unique is the third point we emphasize upon and when we are saying that each individual is unique so the these unique characteristics that they show is actually very personally you know embedded into their personality or uh, what they are as a person it is so unique to them that we cannot change that agar sab ek jaise ban jate bolne se to what would be the beauty i am saying in a positive note because that is how thinking positive will happen also so we'll see that as a positive uh, situation where they are just showing this negative behavior that increases the beauty of the situation sare bachche to badmaashi nahi karenge fir kaise chalega 
कोई कोई तो बदमाश थोड़ा सा करेगा सो दैट इट विल क्रिएट दैट एनर्जी एक्चुअली इन द टीचर टू हैंडल इट इन मोर प्रोएक्टिव मैनर राइट समटाइम्स इट इज एनकरेजिंग फॉर द टीचर्स आल्सो डोंट यू फील द एनर्जी अच्छा कैसे हो गया चलो चलो देखते हैं क्या कर लिया ऐसे भी होता है सर हां यस 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 मैडम एक्सक्यूज मी आई जस्ट वांट टू ऐड वन मोर थिंग यस Uh, we know that a mischievous attitude or uh, uh, that uh, it is one of the uh, human tendency that is found during childhood yes very common yes. but uh, sometimes if it crosses the limit for example if the seniors they start ragging the juniors yes but will, will it be acceptable for us no it positively is not. can you see no no yes. so in that situation what we should do yes yes for that that is why we have the written rules why it is written in all the schools ragging is prohibited and it is a punishable offense no Because but i just gave one example if if the students they they cross the limit uh -huh. in their uh, doing mischievous attitude okay. so in that case what we should do and ragging is just i, I gave one one example and they will be punished because uh, there is a punishment system also ragging for example as you said and if yeah. they are going against the rule which is written again on the walls of the schools and everywhere and there is a system to punish also so we'll follow the system of the school that is completely acceptable because it is written clearly that this thing is prohibited in the school premises and in spite of that if somebody is going against the rule it is like going into conflict with the law of the school so in okay. such a situation you can be strict and handle it very strictly because you have the system to support what you are saying you can show them the written format that dekho idhar to likha hai hmm aise karna mana hai fir kyun kiya so they can be punished with the right uh, you know uh, schools uh, written support the rule book yes yes ma'am hmm agar likha nahi hai to problem hai kahin pe to likha nahi hai they'll question acha kahan pe likha hai ye se karna mana hai aise bol sakte hain because this is the age they will question the uh, authority so अगर लिखा नहीं तो प्रॉब्लम है क्योंकि ये लिखा है तो आई डोंट थिंक यू विल हैव प्रॉब्लम्स इन हैंडलिंग दैट आल्सो स्ट्रिक्टली यू कैन बी वेरी स्ट्रिक्ट विद दैट यस मैडम क्लियर ओके मैम मैडम वन मोर वन मोर वन मोर क्वेश्चन दैट वन एक्चुअली एक्चुअली आई डिडंट गेट माय आंसर Sorry, uh, in group, you... it is it, it is found that in group, few students, one or two students, they do the mischief. It is highly difficult to find out. They do not disclose the name. Yes. Uh, in that case, what should be done? Okay. How did you try to handle that? Tell me. I tried several times to find out the culprit, but nobody discloses. Okay. Because they have the chain, the bond okay. of supporting one another. ओके हाउ अबाउट एड्रेसिंग इट इन अ अगेन पॉजिटिव मैनर हां अगर कोई नहीं बोल रहा है कौन किसी ने किया सो यू स्टार्ट प्रेजिंग देम एक्चुअली आई एम वेरी इंप्रेस्ड विद द यूनिटी दैट यू आर शोइंग आई एक्नॉलेज द थिंग दैट यू ऑल लव इच अदर सो लेट्स सी हाउ वी कैन हेल्प इच अदर बाय सो विल जस्ट फोकस द ऑन द सेम इशू by turning it into a positive kind of uh feedback as we were saying hmm? so we'll say are that shows that nobody is coming up with the name of the student who did the real mischief so i'm really impressed with the kind of unity you have and the love you have for each other hmm? so let's uh, say that uh, you know you want to help your friend something like that i mean not a negative feedback will really help in such a situation aise baat karte karte haste haste they will say mazak mazak mein sir isne kiya tha hmm agar aap bolenge ki ye to aapka unity hai i am impressed with that koi kisi ka naam nahi bol raha hai very good hmm instead of getting angry and asking them kisne kiya to wo to they will also show the rebellious nature if you praise them एंड मजाक मजाक में बात करो तो अच्छा किसने किया था फिर इसने ऐसे किसने लिखा ब्लैक बोर्ड पे गंदी बात और एनीथिंग एनी मिस्टीवियस एक्टिविटी दैट यू आर रेफरिंग टू सो व्हेन यू आर गिविंग देम अ फ्रेंडली एंड पॉजिटिव एनवायरनमेंट टू ओपन अप एंड रीस्ट्रक्चर सिंस वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट रीस्ट्रक्चरिंग एंड रीफ्रेमिंग 
their uh, moral uh, judgment and moral behavior. So we are giving them the opportunity actually to open up and have an open discussion also what is the best way to handle the situation and what could have been the different way of writing on the blackboard, for example, which Gandhi baat lik di. What was the wrong activity? I don't know, sir. So I'm just giving this example of writing slang on the blackboard, for example. Right? That was Ram Prasad, sir's question. Yes, madam. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, clear, I hope. Yes, yes, madam. Mm. We'll Thank just you. change the approach. Mm. Okay, madam. But in practical life, it is very difficult. Madam. Um, uh, see, uh, we have only one or two kids of our own, and it is very difficult to handle them. So we really have to change our approach so that we are preserving our energy for bigger things, for teaching and all that. So these things can be handled by changing our approach so that we don't get high blood pressure after handling such situations, right? Huh? Actually, madam, uh, in residential setup, like uh, yes. Jawahar Navadana Vidalas, it's highly uh, difficult we, because we know we are uh, students are re residing with us. 24-7? Uh, yes, yes, madam. 24 into oh, 7. Okay. okay. So in such a case, you are a parent also and you are a teacher, you are playing dual roles, right? Yes, yes, yes. So the best way is to have a positive, uh, you know, um, environment created for the child in all situations so that they won't see you as a threat to their yes. freedom. Hmm? Yes. When they see you as a threat to their freedom, then they will be rebellious. So, baat chupana or openly baat discuss mat karna, aise sab karenge. But if you have that openness with your children like a friend, not as a, a typical parent and as a teacher also in the classroom situation, and there are different situations also which will let them know in which situation how we can, you know, behave. So they will accordingly behave as per your expectations only because you are giving this subtle sign that this is how I expect you to behave in a friendly manner because they know you don't mean any harm. Okay. Okay, madam. Thank you so much. Got the answer, I hope. Yes, yes. Okay. Thank you. So we are done for today's class. Again, we'll meet tomorrow. Okay. Sure, thank you. Thank you all. Any questions, you can uh, write that down. We'll discuss tomorrow before we proceed. Okay. Thank you all. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Won't be the attendance like, madam? Thank you. Thank you, madam. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Dear students, no, uh, you know, no further questions. So tomorrow, please keep your questions ready for tomorrow because it is already, uh, you know, yes. six minutes past. Thank you, ma'am. So thank, thank you. you. Thank you, madam. Thank, thank you very much. Thank, thank you, sir. madam. Thank you, sir. Bye.